Hello friends, and ready here, back with a video update. This one should be a fairly quick one, hopefully. I only have five titles for you, four of which are Blu-ray, one is a DVD. Um, so I probably should just get started before I mess this up. Alright, so the first title is Hole with a Shotgun. Um, this is um, the Canadian release through Alliance. And they did something really interesting again with their slipcover, like they did with the Piranha release from earlier this year. Uh, it actually opens up just like the Piranha did. Let's see if I can do this right. I took the, the Blu-ray out because I had problems getting the, the Blu-ray out in the previous cut of this. So, there you go. And then just like with the... Uh, actually it says Hobo Shotgun right there. I noticed that the last time. Just like the previous release with Piranha, you can see the image actually continues into the box as well with the, uh, the fire. Alright. Now this release also comes with uh, some postcards, which I'm sure they also have with the, uh, the American release. So, you can see here. Images from the film. This last one's hard to get with this camera. Yeah, I'm just dropping this everywhere. There we go. Now let me pull the disc now. There we go. Yeah. Well, the back is different, which which is nice. It. See, that's that. Just just, for, just to compare. <coughs> it up. Now you see here there's this is the um, the French side because in Canada a lot of the DVDs and Blu-rays have both French and English on the on the cover art which is sometimes kind of annoying. Like if they just had it on the on the insert and you can switch it over that'd be one thing but they have it on both sides which is kind of which I don't really agree with. All right. I watched this one last night and I and I really enjoyed it. Very bloody, really silly. Like a trauma film, like a lost trauma film that was just discovered. Alright. My next pickup is Monsters. I got this for $10. I, I watched this one online and I, it was watchable. I didn't really like it that much, but for $10 in Blu ray, I figured, you know, I could do it with that. little instructions there for the digital copy that I'm not going to bother with anyways. Okay, my third title is Natural Born Killers. This is the uh, Digibook. This is my first Digibook. I almost bought the Director's Cut release a, a few weeks back for the booklet, but I always wanted to have the Digibook version. But I totally had forgotten that the... Um, that this version is just the theatrical cut. But um, it doesn't bother me too much because I still have my um, director's cut on DVD that I got like 11 years ago. I like the different artwork. All right, so let's go back to the uh, Digibook. hard to do one hand. Eventually I gotta, I'm gonna have to find a better way to do these videos. I have to try to get the webcam to work properly. Juliet Lewis. But, uh, I was thinking about getting the Dirty Harry still um, digibook, but the other one seemed to not have as much text and photos in it as this one, so I'm really happy to get this one. Right, the interface. Mode. There we go. Tommy Lee Jones.
And there is the uh, Blu-ray disc with the yin and yang artwork. And my last Blu-ray for today, for this update, is Law Abiding a Citizen. Law Abiding Citizen, I didn't say that right. This is a steelbook. This is the back with this stupid little thing. I'm actually going to peel this off right now. Let's get that thing on there. There's Gerard Butler. I really enjoyed this film. I actually have this on DVD, and originally I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna upgrade. But this is a director's cut, and I just checked, and this one is um, is t nine minutes longer than the other one. So I need to watch this and see what the difference is in those nine minutes. Get that little receipt out of the way. Inside artwork. This is probably from the, the first line of steelbooks from Alliance. Um, the newer line actually covers, um, has both a DVD and a, and a Blu-ray disc in it. So people who haven't switched to Blue yet can still enjoy the steelbook and have the movie to watch as well. Okay. And my last pickup is the three edition of Casino Royale. I took the uh, DVD out already because uh, it's too hard to do this with one hand. This one's a really sturdy uh, slip cover. You can see here, it's not flimsy like the other ones. Alright, here we go. It's a nice digi. Booklet is actually inside here, but I took that out as well. There. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see, they have the third disc hidden right there. Don't mind the noise, I'm outside again. I got the kids inside and they've been acting up all week. Let's see if I can get this last page. This will be the last one. Okay guys, this will probably be my last update for a little while. <clears throat> There's some, some conventions coming up uh, next month, like a uh, Cinema Wasteland at the end of September and there's something in Detroit. And uh the middle of uh, September so between the two of them I gotta save some money up so I can grab some movies from those conventions so until then thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing and I'll talk to you later